Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Noel and I post videos every Wednesday on fashion, travel, and lifestyle content. So if you're interested in those things, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. All right, you guys, so before we get into this haul, I just want to give a little disclaimer out there that I'm actually not going to be trying on the majority of these pieces because they just really didn't work out great for me, um, especially not the swimsuits, because maybe one day I will be confident enough to try on swimsuits on YouTube, but today's not that day. But I will be talking to you guys in depth about how they fit on me as well as any details. So with that being said, let's start with swimsuits. So I did pick up two swimsuits from Fashion Nova. They are having their really big sale right now, which honestly, I think for as long as I shopped on Fashion Nova, they were always having some kind of sale or there was always some kind of discount code available. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about shopping on Fashion Nova, they always have discounted items. So I picked up these two swimsuits, which were final sales. So thank God they kind of worked out because they, I couldn't return them. So they actually are two swimsuits in the same style, um, just different colors. So first is this white swimsuit, which has these kind of cheeky bikini bottoms. Um, not too cheeky where it's like a thong, but it gives you like, I would say like three quarter coverage. Um, and they do have these little like braided straps as the detail. Um, and then it does come with a matching bikini top. The bikini top does have an underwire, which I actually really like a lot about this, uh, as well as these braided detail straps and adjustable straps, which is really important for me on a swimsuit. I did get this swimsuit in a size medium, and I would say that for the most part, it actually does fit me pretty well. Um, the one thing that I don't like about this swimsuit, well, there are a couple things actually, but the first thing I like about this swimsuit is that the there's like no second lining I feel like on the inside of the swimsuit so if you look at the bikini like it looks like there's a second lining there and it may just be like a really light one but I feel like if your swimsuit gets wet they're gonna be able to see all your stuff you know and I want to be able to go to the beach in a white swimsuit feeling like I'm pretty covered so I feel like this one is a maybe I'll wear it just because I don't want to be like overexposed in the chest area when I'm actually going swimming I, I know some people just like to take pictures in the swimsuits, but I actually like to really like take pictures and then actually go swimming. So we'll see about this one. Like I said, I did get it in a medium and it does fit me. I feel like maybe it could have used like a quarter more fabric. I do wear a C cup in my bra. So for the most part, it does fit me. I just have like a little bit of side spilling out, but nothing too serious. And like I said, I do really like that it does have an uh, adjustable strap in case you need to make it a little bit tighter. And then for the bottoms, um, I think that the bottom suit me pretty well. I think the medium was a right size to get. Like I said, it is a little cheeky, but it does provide you with some good coverage. So it's not going to be like a thong on you. Um, and I am pretty curvy on the lower half of my body. So I think that this uh, does fit me appropriately. And I really do like that the bottoms are adjustable. So if you need them to be a little bit tighter or looser, depending on your body type, you can adjust these. And then I also want to show you guys that I got the same swimsuit just in this kind of like blue turquoise color, which I really like a lot. I think that it is such a pretty blue color. Again, same detailing, um, same kind of braided straps with the adjustable side. And then same thing on the top where it does have the underwire as well as adjustable straps on the back. Now I will say because this swimsuit is a darker color, it does not show through on my chest as much as the white one does. So I don't think I'll have the same issue, but again, keeping in mind like there's no inside padding inside the inside of this bikini and the lining is pretty, um, is pretty light. So you're really just gonna have kind of that one layer of protection. Now I will say, I don't know if it's because of how they were tied or what, but I do feel like the blue bottoms fit me a little bit bigger than the white bottoms do which like doesn't really make any sense because of the same size but it just, it could just because they're tied a little bit differently but overall I mean in terms of like the quality I don't think it's the best for swimsuit quality that I had however I didn't pay a lot for them so I feel like you kind of like you get what you pay for you know like the quality is just okay and the price was not bad so I'm overall like decently happy with these. I think I do have to play around with it a little bit like with the white one and being see-through and making sure that I adjust these straps to fit my body. But overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with these. I would give them like a seven out of 10. 
Next up in the haul are two tops. I picked up these two just pretty basic, I would say like summer essentials, um, tube tops from Fashion Nova. Now I did get this in the blue and I also got it in white, as you guys can see. Like I said, just pretty essential pieces that I think you need for the summertime just to easily like throw on or put on with a pair of flare pants and some sandals and you're ready to go. Um, I also did pick these up in a size medium. I think they do fit me like I would expect they would fit me. Um, again, I do wear like a C cup in bras. Um, so they fit me pretty well and it is a little bit cropped. It does just come right above or like right at my belly button. So it is just a little bit cropped. Now with this one, I think that they're good for like summer basics. However, I did order this top in the past, like maybe two summers ago. And one thing I really do like about Fashion Nova is that you can check your order history if you have an account with them and look back at previous items that you ordered and just like click right back on it and just repurchase it if you want it. I will say, however, that I feel like the quality of this shirt has changed from the first time that I bought it. So the first time that I bought it, I had just bought the white version of it and I felt like the shirt was pretty substantial. It fit me and sculpted me really nice and it was a thick material, which is really important, especially for white because, you know, you can easily see through it. However, I would say now it's not completely see through, but it's definitely not as substantial of a material as it was before. And one thing that I really just don't like about it is that this top piece, as you can see, like it's kind of like flimsy if you let it go. And I feel like it's going to lose its shape really, really easily, which I'm worried about. Like, I don't know that I'll be able to wash this and use it again next summer. And I really don't like to um, like be wasteful with my clothes. So I'm really hoping that this will keep its shape. I was a little bit surprised um, that the, you know, material had changed so much from the first time that I bought it because it really... I mean, two summers ago, like that that's a long time ago to be fair, but I just didn't think that the quality would be that much different and it is pretty different, uh, both in the white top and the blue top. However, I do think I'll be able to get a lot of use out of them. I just worry that as I continue to wear them that the shape potentially will just start to become unstructured in the top. But I'm hoping that, you know, these shirts will prove me wrong. I'll probably just end up having to hand wash them and just hang dry them just because I don't want the washing machine to stretch them out even further when they're going through the wash cycle. And I definitely don't want them to shrink when I put them in the dryer. So we'll see how these end up. Like I said, overall, you know, they're a summer basic that's good to have in your wardrobe. So we'll see how these fare throughout my trip and throughout the rest of the summer. Uh, but in terms of ranking them, I would say I give these like a five or a six out of 10, just because I'm not 100% sure about the quality. So the last items in this haul are actually going to be two dresses. I typically am not really a dress girl. Um, I prefer to wear like longer pants or shorts. But this summer, I'm really trying to get into wearing more dresses. And Fashion Nova has a huge, huge collection of dresses that you can pick from. So I picked up these two. Now first up, I'm going to show you guys this really pretty orange knit dress. It is this really nice stretchy ribbed material i would say that this dress is midi length on me it hits me just right past my knees uh, and for reference i am five foot four and i also picked this dress up in a size small now typically i do wear a medium in my clothing however when it comes to knits they tend to be pretty stretchy so i do feel more comfortable going down a size and also if you're thinking about buying from fashion nova definitely check out the reviews under each product because tons of different people have talked about what works for them what they like about the product what they don't like about it how it fits uh, and if you should size up or down. So the reviews on this said to size down. So I did get a small, I'll just unfold it so you guys can see a little bit more of it. I really just like this dress a lot. I think that the color is so pretty and I don't have a lot of orange in my closet. So I felt like this would be a good addition for the summer. In terms of the quality of the material, the material is really, really soft. And I feel like even though it's a knit, it's still pretty breathable. So I'm really happy about that. I think it feels so nice against my skin. But the only downfall is that it is just like the slightest bit see-through, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Like with tighter dresses, especially ribbed knits, that definitely can tend to happen. Like I said, I'm a little bit more curvy on the bottom half of my body. So especially like around my hips and my butt, like things are definitely gonna get more see-through because the material is stretching more. So I feel like if I put on the right type of underwear and the right undergarments, I should be good to go. But I just hate like, if I'm gonna order something like I want it to, like I just want it to work. Like I don't wanna have to make it work or work extra hard to make it work. So 
because of that like I would say that this one was just like a little bit disappointing but I think the color and the feeling of the material kind of outweigh that like I said I can work around making it a little bit see-through but I overall just really really like this dress and I'm really really happy with this purchase I would definitely say it's like a smooth seven and a half eight out of ten for me uh the only thing would just be that it is a little see-through so if you're wondering about this one just keep that in mind and of course i'll have all these items links uh all these items linked below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing them so the last dress that i got was a hot mess you guys like just a hot mess so i don't have any white dresses uh any white summer dresses in my wardrobe and i wanted a like midi to mini length white dress and like a body sculpting one that i could use like layer on like kimonos or cute jackets for the summer so fashion nova had a couple of different options so i like immediately started going through them and i specifically wanted one that was double lined so that it wouldn't be super see-through so i saw this dress and i don't think i have the name though it's called the kate double lined midi dress now i scoured the reviews to make sure that it wasn't see-through and to make sure that it would fit me the right way and everybody in the review said to size down because the material is very stretchy and you know if you go up one side it may be a little bit bigger than you liked so here is the dress i did get this in a size small based on the reviews and at first look like she is tiny but it is you know a simple standard white dress pretty cute and i will say that the material is super soft like it's not ribbed or anything it's just like a regular uh, material and it is it does have a pretty decent amount of stretch so I was excited about this one taking it out of the bag however trying to get this dress on my body felt like I was in a like gymnastics class I don't know what it is about this material but like I felt like I could feel it fighting against me like I was trying to pull it down and sis was trying to just come right back on up and like by the time I got it down it was right like about not right above my knee but like above the knee but I like bent over to grab something and I immediately could feel like the air just going up, you know, the dress on my backside. And I was just like, absolutely not. Like, this is just not going to work. This dress clearly does not want to fit me. On top of that, like, I felt like it was kind of see-through, even though it is double line. And then also, like, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera. Let me see if I can show you an example. Like, there were just little pieces of, like, material or fabric or, like, I don't even know like just a string I don't think I can I don't think you guys can be able to see it on camera but like there were little pieces of string that I initially thought were stuck to the inside of the dress so I tried to go inside the dress to grab them because they looked like they were stains but it ends it turns out that, like they're little pieces of little pieces of string that are stuck inside the double lining so I can't even get them out even if I wanted to so it looks like there's like little red stains on the back of this dress and then on top of that the lining on the side when I tried it on so you guys can see like there's a lining right here on the side and I think that's where the double lining may come together it looked like it was like separating from the inside when I put it on so it looked almost like it was like two pieces of lining like going down the side of the dress which was totally not the intention I'm pretty sure when they designed this dress so all of those things made me realize that this dress was just an absolutely absolutely not like there was just nothing that I could do to make it fit me the way that I wanted to to make it look the way that I wanted to like nothing was gonna work she was 100 percent a zero out of ten so if you're thinking about getting this dress just keep that in mind that i think she is a little bit see-through i think the material is very difficult to work with however it is soft i feel like if you're smaller than me then a small may work but i would definitely recommend you go true to size because i sized down and i thought she was gonna choke me so yeah keep that in mind if you don't want to suffocate inside of your dresses if you want to you know work with your body a little bit more um maybe this dress is not for you so that's all the items in my haul and now i just want to do like a little chit chat about shopping on fashion nova so like i said i haven't shopped on fashion nova since back when i was in college which is a while ago now your girl's getting old but i never really made like a conscious decision to stop shopping at fashion nova it just kind of happened one day where i made my last order and then didn't think twice about it um, and it wasn't because of anything Fashion Nova had done wrong per se. I just think that I kind of migrated away from it. Now, when I was in college, I think what attracted me about Fashion Nova was, of course, their affordable prices. I was a broke college student, didn't have much money to spend on clothing. And Fashion Nova offered the mix of affordable prices along with very trendy and cute items, which I still think they're doing to this day. They definitely have lots of trendy, you know, pieces. They come out with tons of new styles every day. They are like the definition of fast fashion, which... 
I'm not here to slam anybody for shopping fast fashion because I still shop fast fashion myself. Um, but yeah, I just never really thought about like why I moved away from it. But when my when I thought about my upcoming trip, I needed I knew that I needed to get some summer clothes and that Fashion Nova was going to be one of those places that had a lot of stock of summer clothing that I could just look and sift through. So I took uh, a little bit of a leap of faith and went back into Fashion Nova. So I will say that like shopping on Fashion Nova for me can be like really, really overwhelming because they just have so much inventory. Like they have thousands upon thousands of styles for every different type of clothing from like tops to skirts to dresses. So it took me like a good week or so before I actually found like this little core group of pieces that I wanted to order just because there was so much out there. Now I think Fashion Nova is better now at filtering things out than they were when I was shopping there back in college. Like you can search for things like summer dresses or like loose skirts or things like that and it'll like pop up a different array of things that you can buy. However, like still having to go through like 60 or so pages of items with however many items per page, it can be a lot. Um, so it was just a little bit of an overwhelming experience for me. And that was kind of one of the reminders why I stopped shopping there just because it's like, dang, like it takes so long to find what you're looking for. I ultimately did just end up going on YouTube and looking for other YouTubers hauls of some of their favorite pieces from Fashion Nova. And I just picked up those items because I just felt like there was no way I was going to get through all the styles on the site. Second thing I think for me is like, again, the price of Fashion Nova is great. They always have a sale. They always have a discount code that you can use. So it is definitely consumer friendly in terms of pricing. And I think it's really inclusive in terms of pricing because lots of people can afford it. However, the one thing that I don't like about Fashion Nova is that you cannot return items for a full refund on your credit card. Like I think now that they, they do returns for just a store credit, which they've been doing since I was in college. And I feel like it's time to like move away from that, like leave it in the past. Because if you don't like an item, for example, or like you figure out, you know what, I don't like Fashion Nova clothes. What are you going to do with the store credit? You're not going to want to use it. Like you're going to wish that you had your money back. So I feel like I wish that they did returns for your money back. Like more people would be inclined to shop from them because I know so many people who like once they get a Fashion Nova item, if it doesn't work out, like you're not going to go through the struggle of trying to return it and get a store credit because on top of not giving refunds, they also don't give free returns. Like, how are you a company in 2022 and not doing free returns? It doesn't make any sense. Like, companies should definitely be doing free returns now because, so take that white dress that I got, for example. That dress, I think I got it for like $10 on sale. By the time that I actually return the dress to Fashion Nova, it's probably going to cost more than the dress was actually worth. So I'm just not even about to go through the trouble of all of that. And the last thing I would say, like, I want to call out is just like the quality of Fashion Nova. So I think the Fashion Nova, like I said, has really cute, affordable and trendy pieces. However, you can always probably find yourself questioning the quality of the clothes before you get them, just because you never know if it's going to be of a higher quality, if it's going to be of a lower quality. And that definitely may impact, you know, your decision to actually wear them and keep the clothes moving forward. So in my case, I feel like the quality on all my pieces was okay except for the white dress. So I think I will get some use out of them. However, I feel like I'll have to take like extra special care of them to get more use out of them in future seasons, which like if I buy clothing now, I definitely want it to be high enough quality that it's not even a question in my mind of like, okay, next season you'll wear it and in years and years beyond that. So those are just things that I think about when I shop from Fashion Nova. Now, will I say that I'll never shop from Fashion Nova again because this haul was only semi-successful definitely not because if I need something quick if I need something really affordable I'll definitely grab it from Fashion Nova and again emphasizing that they have really really cute trendy styles however I think I will probably stay with my normal pattern of not making them like my go-to fashion brand I think back in college it made more sense for me because that was just more realistic with my lifestyle now that I'm a little bit older I'm a little bit more comfortable spending a certain amount on clothing um, I think that I may just opt for other retailers that can give me maybe a little bit more of what I'm looking for. However, if you're still a big Fashion Nova shopper, please continue to shop at Fashion Nova. I think that they have, again, really cute clothes. And most importantly, they are affordable, which allows more people to shop from them um, and be able to find the styles that they're looking for. All right, you guys, so that is gonna be all for this little Fashion Nova haul and little chit chat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below your thoughts on the pieces I picked up or maybe your experiences shopping on Fashion Nova. 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week.